Peace, 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 family. I made it. Let me say that again. I made it. If you made it, drop them nines in the comment section below because divine is the number nine. Divine is the number nine. I said divine is the number nine. Y'all already know what it is, man. We about to get ready to cut up, man. Yeah, so I'm about to expose every lie they didn't told. Like how they trafficking kids and why they ain't got a soul. They feeding off Check our energy, video, trying to man. destroy the globe. They got weather control. They even making it snow. But we can't run from it. Gotta grab it by the antler. I'm here to talk to y'all today about the whole Miami mall situation and the whole allegations of aliens being sought or seen walking around, whether it be Nephilim, Grays, or whatever it is that you want to call it. I need you to understand this, man. Okay? I need you to understand this. All right? Use your common sense. See, this is what I've been talking about the whole time, man. We do not use our common sense anymore. We allow social media platforms and we allow their propaganda-based media platforms to give us our thoughts. We allow them to think for us. And that's the, that's the big problem, y'all. Nobody is using their own mind nowadays, man. Somebody posts that it's aliens or Nephilim's walking around Miami Mall and everybody just going to frenzy because everybody is clout chasing. That's the problem. It's a lot of people clout chasers. One thing you need to understand about these aliens, man. Yes, they have been here for centuries, y'all. Okay? So with that being said, if they was going to stick their head out to walk around the mall, they would have done it centuries ago. Let me say that again. If they were going to stick their head out to walk around the mall, they would have done it centuries ago. You have to understand that the world was nothing more than a big stage, man. It's a big stage, y'all. So... What you seen taking place was an act that was being done on the world stage. Okay? Let me say that again. What you seen being done was an act that was being done on a world stage, y'all. See, something big is about to get ready to happen. I keep telling y'all that. And something big is happening even in this moment that they're trying to cover up. So they decided to get these uh, projectors out for lack of better words, okay? Even if it was people who actually can say that they seen it, I want you to understand, you seen uh, a hologram of Drake on the stage, right? And we seen that that hologram was, I'm talking about great in terms of technology because it was able to even grab the book from Drake and hand it back to him. How long have we been seen, how long have we seen holograms being out here, y'all? Huh? We seen the Tupac hologram. Hell, it's people that's getting paid or that's paying to have holograms made of their deceased loved ones, y'all. You have to do your research. This is why I keep telling y'all, man. But more importantly, you have to use common sense because they've taught us to look away from our common sense. See, technology right now, y'all, is so crazy, bro. And I know. I know technology is crazy, y'all. It's bigger than what you think it is, bro. They got cloaking mechanism, mechanism. It could be somebody walking around your house in an invisible cloak. That's how cold technology is. And you don't even know it. You don't even know it. Because they giving you the technology that they want you to see on a day-to-day -day basis, bro. Like cell phones, Apple Watches. They got the new glasses coming out. And you thinking... Wow, technology is really growing, bro. Technology is getting back to where it was in ancient times. Understand that technology had already been heightened, bro. They just starting to find this ancient technology and use it again. That's all they doing, bro. I have the privy, or I've had the privy of being exposed to a lot of technology, y'all. Which we're going to be talking about on my YouTube channel. So if you ain't that over on YouTube and you ain't following me over there already, you got to get over there. Because we're going to be going live over there and we're going to be cutting up and I'm going to be giving y'all all of the technology that I've been exposed to over there that's being used against you on a day-to-day -day basis and you think it's something else. That's big facts. Okay? See, and this is what they call Project Blue Bean, things like that. You look over in Japan, you look over in uh, uh, China right now, bro, during their New Year's Eve, man, they have a spectacular 
blue bean party, man. I'm talking about they got all type of fake fire fireworks taking place. They got whales flying through the sky, bro. They got all type of stuff going on over there, bro. But since this ain't what you do, since you ain't tapped into this information, neither are you looking for it. You don't believe it's true. And yet and still, even when you see holograms like Drake on stage with him, giving him books and taking the book away, you still don't believe that technology is at an all time high. See, these extraterrestrial beings are giving them the technology because they train it out to do research on the human beings. Let me say that again. These, these extraterrestrials have been giving them this technology, right? Years, years ago so that they could come down here and do research on the human beings. Because when we talk about these grays, okay, you have to understand that they have, this is what they do. They are geneticists, okay? And they've dug so much into genetics that they've lost their ability to procreate. So they're trying to find a way that they can procreate. And to be honest, they've already found it because we see a lot of hybrid kids running around the planet already. I've done a video on that. Nobody pays attention. Nobody stops and watches the videos, man. That's the problem. That is the problem. Yes, these extraterrestrials are here. I've talked about how they came through the portal. They've been coming through a portal since the year 1952 when they first hovered over the White House. I showed you pictures of this when they talked to the damn President Truman. And before they even came here, they had another extraterrestrial being that was standing in the octagon at the time, okay? By the name of Val Thor. He warned them about these extraterrestrial beings that was going to be coming through this portal, okay? And so this is why they didn't trust them. But we can get into that story. I've already, I've already talked about that story. I've already spoken on that, y'all. Extraterrestrials out here, bro, but they ain't finna pop their head out. That's nothing more than a distraction, y'all. You gonna know when they hook. I want you to understand it right now. They preparing y'all for a fake invasion. This is what they doing. They trying to prepare society for a fake invasion and that's because you have not went in yourself and started to do the work that was necessary in order to be able to identify when these beings actually start to reveal themselves to you. Therefore, when they start giving y'all these fake ass holograms that's able to run up to you and touch you and possibly do damage to you, you're gonna really believe it's an alien invasion. Huh? When they want y'all to really believe that Jesus is coming back and the judgment day is coming because it's looking like the skies open up, your ass gonna believe it because you ain't with when with with when excuse me, that's my throat shocker, y'all. They always try to get me. Understand what I'm telling you. You ain't went with went within yourself to even begin to realize or be able to recognize these beings when you see them. And that's fact, y'all. So do not believe the hype, y'all. Do not believe the hype. It was a strong police presence out there, man. But see, my issue with this whole situation is, is whenever we see some of these things, man, the, the, the image that they want to show you is distorted when technology is at an all-time high. My cell phone is clear, bro. These police officers that would have been seeing this type of stuff, y'all, there is no way that they would not have brought their phone out, bro, no matter what the policy is. Because... That situation right there is too big for the police to even handle. They gonna bring the man in blackout for that. Okay? Not only that, when they do bring the man in blackout, they gonna swipe everybody of their memory after seeing that, y'all. Whether it be through the television, when they had that big bleed, come on, they gonna, they gonna swipe everybody's memory who was there. They gonna pull them in, they gonna investigate them, they gonna hit them with the red light. They gonna hit them with the red light because they don't want that information getting out before they want it to get out. So you have to use your common sense and say, self, what was this that I seen? Was it the real deal? Or was that an act that was being acted out on the world stage? Ask yourself that, okay? Because I don't care how many police out there, bro. If these Nephilims, if these Greys, if the Anunnaki pop up right now, bro, ain't nothing them little guns that the police have gonna be able to do, do nothing with them. Okay? Did you see what took place in Maui, man? 
not, not to get off subject, and I want y'all to understand, man, that you know, this is for entertainment purposes only. My dog barking, y'all. Okay, that's validation, though. Understand what I'm telling you. But understand what I'm telling you. Did y'all see what happened in Maui? Why nobody paying attention to what happened in Maui? I keep telling y'all when we talk about these energy weapons, right? That they have, because believe me, they have the energy weapons already because it's a war that's about to get ready to take place. Do you think that they need energy weapons for you? Huh? Ask yourself that question. Do you think that they need energy weapons for little old you? Huh? Yes, it's a real war that's about to get ready to take place. And, and, and look, I want you to understand this. The police couldn't have did nothing against them Nephilims. If them was real Nephilims and them was real aliens out there, man, they would have brought them energy weapons in, bro. Because they know what nothing a thousand police officers cars was going to be able to do. But yeah, it was something going on. Understand that. Something that they want to have. Because they not going to show up that deep for no kids in the, in, the, in the mall shooting firecrackers or whatever it is that they want to allege that took place. They not going to show up for that, y'all. All right? But I'm asking y'all to use y'all common sense, man. The ancestors out here, all you have to do is look up. They ain't the only ones here. The Pleiadians have been here for years, y'all. The Greys have been here for years. I told y'all that. The Ashtar Command have been here for years, y'all. And they're capable of going back into the future, y'all, and everything else. Just like our government is capable of going back into the future, y'all. They already time traveling. Okay? And they using CERN and these portals that they got, which we're going to talk about on my page. Okay? They using CERN and these portals that they got to go back into the future because they want to change the way life was created in the cosmos. Okay? They want to tap into that God gene. All right? But it's bigger than that, y'all. See, you have to understand, bro. They want to, bro, they want to shake y'all up, bro. They planting seeds with this type of shit. That's all they doing is planting seeds and the goofies on the internet that's chasing clout. Trying to get some, some, some type of cash, right? They ain't doing nothing but helping them plant the seed unbeknownst to themselves, man. Look, confirmation, y'all. Confirmation. Hush, hush. That's all they doing. Okay? So like I say, man, to be aware is to be alive, man. Okay? Don't allow people to come along, y'all, and create the narrative. Because that's what they doing. I keep telling y'all, man, even when you see these type of things, man, you have to understand that that's a part of Cointel Pro as well. That's a part of the CIA and so on and so forth because these are the ones that's behind the scene that's creating this fake ass shit. Let me say that again. These are the ones that's behind the scene that's creating all this fake ass shit for y'all to believe, right? So that they can create the narrative and when, when, when shit really pop off, y'all ain't gonna believe it's happening. This is gonna be the same thing that they gonna use when they tell you Jesus returning. This is going to be the same thing they use. Hmm? It's big facts. I keep telling y'all, man, you have to wake up and pay attention, man. The, 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 the shapeshifters, okay? The, the draconian reptilians, bro, they walk amongst you on a day-to-day -day basis, bro, and you don't even know it. Okay, they live in your homes and everything else. They shape shift it right in front of your face. But see, the fact of the matter is, is that it all goes back to you not doing the work to raise your frequency up so that you will be able to identify them when they shape shift. <laughs> Look, that's real facts. That's real fact, bro. You ain't doing the work so you can tap into yourself, bro. So you can tap into your clears, bro. And you will be able to see the ones that you was birthed to. The ones that you married. The ones that you be friend on a day to day basis that's actually shape shifting in your motherfucking face, bro. Why they got you thinking that they ain't here? Why they got you thinking it's gonna be a major invasion, bro? They already here, bro. They already living on this plane, the planet, and it's a war that's going on in the astros right now, bro. That's gonna have that dome come up because it's gonna get ready to go, and they gonna come. More of them coming. Because what's happening in the spiritual realm is spilling over to the physical right now, bro. Don't be fooled by the false uh, narratives that's being painted by a lot of these so-called uh, media sites. 
that ain't doing nothing but cloud chasing, y'all. I keep telling y'all, man, just tap into yourself, man. You're going to start to see what's going on. You have to understand this too, bro. We're living in a false reality to begin with. The illusion is being broken. We already talked about the clouds being fake. Okay, and when you say the clouds are fake, then you have to realize that the water is fake. The snow is fake. That means weather is fake in itself. So what the fuck is that that is being released from these clouds on a day-to-day -day basis? We talked about the silver iodide that they shoot into the clouds and create the storms with these, with these, uh, like little solar flares that they, it's like a little rocket that they shoot in there that sit on the ground, y'all. After they done created these clouds, they shoot it in there and release silver iodide. And depending on how much was released into this cloud, it's going to determine whether it's going to snow heavy. Okay. It's going to determine how long it's going to rain. All right. And they already done got it mapped out. This is why the weatherman can tell you, um, when it's going to rain. We talked about this before. The illusion is being broken for those of you who are allowed, uh, who are willing to see it. Who, who, who man is not being caged inside that box, bro. The illusion is being broken. Y'all understand that, bro. Nothing in this realm of reality that you see is real. We are living in the matrix, Joe. I, I keep telling y'all, we are living in the matrix. They've already proven this. Look up what a dinker codes are. These codes are the same codes that you see in the computer. That runs a computer. This is a simulation. I keep trying to tell y'all that, bro. Right now, you somewhere in the machine tucked off, you know, sleep somewhere. And you're experiencing this reality through your state of consciousness, man. Okay, this is something that the Dogon been proved years ago. The Dogon trap, and they didn't have the technology that we have right now. Okay? So, with that being said, man, y'all, man, look, wake up, man. Don't be fooled, y'all. Do not be fooled by what you're seeing, all right? Use common sense, man. Do you really, really think that some aliens that have been here for years, okay, that have been uh, genetically modifying you with the permission of your government, okay, by kidnapping you because they wanted the technology, They've been genetically modifying you for years, bro. Go down my timeline. Y'all gonna see the videos that I did on this, man, on, on Facebook. Okay? Go down the timeline. I already did the video on how kids are being genetically modified, bro, by the grades because they're trying to find a way to to re to be able to re uh you know reprocreate themselves, man. And this is a deal that the government made with them years ago. Years ago. All right. And so with that being said, man, if you ain't already on YouTube, man, get over to YouTube. I am awake and follow me on YouTube because I got some lectures, y'all. And we finna get ready to cut up, y'all. We finna get ready to cut up. Believe that. And if you ain't already, also get over to uh, Instagram and follow me on Instagram. At I am awake and underscore chosen one. And I'll leave you as I came. I want you guys to always, always be aware because to be aware is to be alive. And as always, peace, family, peace, many positive energy. Always create elevation. I shake.